with the 15th pick in the 2004 NBA draft, the Boston Celtics select Al Jefferson from Prentice High School. Prentice High School is in Mississippi. Jay? Al Jefferson is a strong, powerful player. He's really wide. He's got a big body. He's not as polished as Dwight Howard, but he rebounds at a really high rate. He is long-armed, and he is a man. I, I think he's kind of an Elton Brand-type player, and he can shoot it from uh, face-up position. He's a very good shooter. Uh, I, he can run the floor. He's deceptively athletic and can really get off his feet. I, I think he's really explosive. I'm surprised he lasted this long. This is a pretty solid pick uh, at 15 for Boston to be able to get a guy that says relentless and has as much upside as Al Jefferson. I like him as a player very, very much. He's undersized, but he's long enough to make up for it. Did you see those sweet two-tone uniforms? Those were nice. They were incredible. <laughs> Al Although Jefferson. Boston losing men, possibly. Blount, possibly. They need, they need someone inside. When I think about the pick, I'm saying to myself, you let go of Eric Williams and Tony Bettine when you traded when you traded him for Ricky Davis. You needed some size, you needed some bulk, you needed a tough guy on your front line. It's glad to see that uh, Danny Ainge got Paul Pierce some help. At least some rebounders so Paul Pierce can get some more shots. This is the fifth high school player taken of the first 15 in the draft and that's a record for the first round. Never had this many players taken. We're only halfway through round one. Andy Katz, give us some more background as you've been following these high school players here on Jefferson. Well, first of all, Boston's top two choices going in here were Robert Swift and Al Jefferson. So they get their second choice in this draft. Jefferson has really skyrocketed over the last couple of weeks, but there had been some issues because he does not have representation yet. It's been his AAU coach, Larry Stamps, traveling around with him. Now that he has been picked in the first round, he told me he will sign with an agent instead of go to the University of Arkansas. But they had some, there were some logistical problems without having an agent, but he, when he worked out for Boston, it was a big success. He had a workout on Tuesday, though, in Jackson, Mississippi for Toronto and Miami because they were starting to get a little nervous working out for a team all the way down at 19 in case he started to slide. He had a right shoulder injury down at up at Seattle over the weekend. That is fine. They're really pleased, those being the, that being the Celtics, that they could get Al Jefferson. His mom and teachers, two grandmothers raised in Jefferson, picked by the Boston Celtics.